Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to be starting a new section today and this section is measurement. All right, guys. So basically, we're going to look at how we measure anything in life. Okay, guys. So it says here the metric system is an internationally recognized decimalized system of measurement. All right, guys. And this decimalized here, what this really means is that it's in powers of 10. All right, guys. So it's much easier to use because everything is in powers of 10, unlike the old system. Okay. Now the metric system's name comes from the word meter. Okay. And the standard units for measuring length, mass, and capacity are the meter, which is m, right? And that's length. So for example, remember you usually run a hundred meters, right? So the length of the distance is measured in meters. Cool. You also have the 200 meter dash, right? And the 400 meter dash as well. And you even have the 800 meter dash um, or run. Right. So we measure, we usually measure distances in meters. <laughs> All right, guys. Now for kilograms now, um, for mass, we measure things in kilograms. Okay, guys, so the kilogram kg represents mass. So we might say that um, you might say that you currently weigh what 300 kilograms, right? Which is really heavy. Um, or or a good example would be you're gonna buy one kilogram of rice when you go to the when you go to the supermarket. Cool. I think that's a good example. We usually measure weight in pounds in Jamaica, right? Um, but this is actually the old system. And most of the things that we use to measure nowadays are actually going to be in kilograms, right? We measure in grams now. Um, we still use the old system at times, um, meaning, meaning using pounds, but we want to stick to the new system, okay? And eventually we'll do a video on the old system and how to convert from the old system to the new system, right? So right now we're just focused on the we're focused on the decimalized system where everything is in powers of 10. All right, guys. Right. So let's not worry about pounds. We want to focus on grams and kilograms, right? The kilogram. Now, for capacity, we usually measure things in liters, right? So, all right, guys. So if you go to your gas pump, you might see that. For 87 or or 90, you know, the price may be 160 Jamaican dollars per liter, right? Okay. And you you may need about what's the word? Probably 20 or or 30 liters to get where you're going. All right. So you notice that capacity volume is measured in liters. Right. And also, for example, let's say you buy a water, right? A water with wow. You know what I mean? Um, usually the water is measured in milliliters, right? So many things are measured in liters, guys. That is the unit for capacity. Okay, guys. So it says down here now, it is, it is now known as the international system of units. SI units. So that's what SI units are, guys. SI units are the units that we use to measure all things under the decimalized system. And it is used to measure everyday things such as the mass of a bag of flour, the height of a person, or the speed of a car, and the volume of fuel in its gas tank. Cool? All right. So pretty simple, easy so far, right? And we're going to do some examples. The first thing we're going to look at, of course, is length, okay? Uh, because distance is relatively easy to understand. I'm sure most people understood the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 800 meter analogy because um, we, we really use this length. We use the, the metric system in length very often. So let's move on to that, guys, um, and let's look at some prefixes. All right, guys, so we're going to look at some prefixes here, okay, for general SI units. And the first one we have is the kilo, 
which is k, all right? So we see here that k means 1,000. So for example, remember earlier we had kilogram. So what this actually means is it's 1,000 grams, okay? So this k represents 10 to the 3, which is equal to 1,000. All right, guys? Now, hecto here means 100. So if I had hg, right, this would be equivalent to 100 grams, okay? But we don't really use hecto often, but it's still important to know the prefix, and it represents 10 to the 2, all right? Then we have deca here, which is also a prefix for 10. So if we had dag, right, this would be 10 grams, cool? And it's also a prefix, DA is also a prefix for 10 to the 1, right? Now, we also have another prefix here called deci, okay? Now, deci actually means 10 to the negative 1, or it means 1 over 10, okay? So if I had, and it's represented by D, so if I have DG, right? This would actually be... Right, this would actually be 1 over 10 grams. All right, guys? Or 10 to the minus 1 in grams, okay? Which is the same thing as 1 over 10, all right? All right, guys, so we're looking at the prefix called centi here, okay? And centi, C, represents 0 0.01, okay? So let's use an example here that we use very often. We use centi very often to represent centimeter, this would be 0 0.01 multiplied by 1 meter, cool? Which is the same thing as 0 0.01 meters, cool? So we use this one really often, guys, so get used to the C because we use centimeter a lot. Also, the last one here we have is milli, and we use this one really often too. And milli, the M, represents 0 0.001 right? So if we have a millimeter, which we use very often, it's equal to 0 0.001 multiplied by 1 meter, which is equal to 0 0.001 meters. All right, guys? So the, the prefixes that we use most often are going to be kilo, centi, and milli, okay? And we're going to get used to these guys. We're going to use them really often. So just get used to them. All right? Get used to them. And we're going to move on to units of length now. And we're going to look at them in detail now. All right? All right, guys. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best. And God will do the rest.